patrol officers, detectives, and onlookers, all a part of an early morning scene no one in the neighborhood expected. Everybody was saying well, he's, this was a good kid. He didn't do anything bad. He was trying to, you know, get through college and stuff. Herbert Riley was sitting outside his house when he saw law enforcement swarm a car at the intersection of 6th Avenue and 15th Street. He went to speak to the mother of 25-year-old Denzel Gervon Washington, who police say was found dead in the car, stopped in an intersection. She knew that was her son's car because he had just bought it, because it had the paper tag still on it. She wasn't sure that that was her son that was in there because they had to wait for the JPs before they can really do it. Then they, she found out that that was her son, and then she broke down then. Sergeant Scott Gaspar of the Port Arthur Police Department says there were wounds on Washington's body. Officers believe he was shot, but say he could have been stabbed. We, we took the car and body and everything and brought it to our impound garage to have a controlled environment to start peeling back the layers so we could try to figure out what happened and why. Gaspard says Washington was last seen around 1.30 Thursday morning, and the Port Arthur police responded to the homicide around 6.30 Thursday morning. They're trying to put together the puzzle of what happened in the last few hours of his life. We're trying to put together those, the timeline of what happened in the last few hours of his life. It, that, that'll tell the story. Uh, it's the last few hours, and that's what we're going to try to figure out first. In Port Arthur, Jessica Crawford, Fox 4 News.